This is a Play-Doh model of an embryo at week three. Currently, this embryo is in a trilaminar germ disc form comprised of the ectoderm on the dorsal aspect, the blue Play-Doh, and the ventral most layer is the endoderm in yellow. And in between the two layers, we have the mesoderm. Although we are only looking at the embryo proper, the trilaminar germ disc right now, we have to remember that the ectodermal layer curves up in the periphery to become continuous with the amniotic membrane. And likewise, the endodermal layer curves down ventrally to become continuous with the yolk sac membrane. The ectodermal layer has a cloacal membrane in the caudal aspect and the oropharyngeal membrane in the cranial aspect. Just cranial to the cloacal membrane, there is the primitive streak that gave rise to all three germ layers of the embryo proper. There's a lot going on under the surface of the ectoderm at this time. This is the neural tube that is in the process of pinching off of the ectoderm to give rise to the central nervous system, the brain and the spinal cord, which was induced by this structure just ventral to the neural tube, which is the nodal cord. On either side of the nodal cord, we have the paired paraxial mesoderm, lateral to that, the intermediate mesoderm pair, and even lateral to those and going all the way around the peripheral margin of the trilaminar germ disc would be the lateral plate mesoderm. Within the lateral plate mesoderm, a tunnel-like space forms that goes all the way throughout the length or shape of the lateral plate mesoderm. So this space is the intraembryonic coelom, also known as the intraembryonic body cavity, that will give rise to the pericardium, pleura, and peritoneum. This space also splits the lateral plate mesoderm into two layers. So dorsal layers called the somatic or parietal lateral plate mesoderm. The ventral layer is called the splanchnic or visceral lateral plate mesoderm. And it is within this visceral lateral plate mesoderm that we form yet one more tube system, which is the primitive embryonic vasculature. It goes throughout the length and shape of the visceral lateral plate mesoderm. The craniomost portion of this primitive vasculature is called the endocardial tube, which will eventually become our heart. Now let me take the lateral plate mesoderm out of the trilaminar germ disc to demonstrate what happens during embryonic folding. The cranial folding of the embryo swings this curved cranial ends of the lateral plate mesoderm ventrally and caudally. And the lateral folding below the level of the diaphragm will bring the right and left sides of the primitive vasculature of the embryo towards the midline so that they will eventually fuse. So spatially speaking, the endocardial tube, which used to be ventral to the intraembryonic body cavity, ends up getting positioned dorsal to the intraembryonic body cavity, the future pericardium, turning the whole complex over for a ventral view. The right and left primitive vasculature at this point are essentially the dorsal aorta, and these two right and left aorta will fuse with each other to become a single descending aorta, and through lateral folding, the right and left embryonic body cavities will also swing ventrally in front of the dorsal aorta eventually and fuse to become a single peritoneal cavity. A similar lateral folding event occurs at the cranial portion of the endocardial tube where the right and left sides of the endocardial tubes will come towards the midline to fuse to become a single primitive heart tube that becomes the heart. Now putting everything back into the trilaminar germ disc, to see the whole folding process with perspective. We have to remember that it's the neural tube that grows quite rapidly during neurulation that's essentially driving the embryo folding. Let's put the ectoderm on there and see how that folds. So we have the cranial folding that swings the lateral plate mesoderm caudally and ventrally, caudal folding, and the lateral folding that'll bring the right and left dorsal aorta and the respective body cavities ventrally towards the midline.